Again, we have a 300 and some odd yard performance, five touchdown, four touchdown, whatever it was. Again, same, same result. Yeah, it was same result, but I don't believe in more victories. We still lost. So. How did you think the team moved offensively in the first part of the game or anything like that? It was different? Um, I wouldn't say different. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, of course, we moved with the tempo, but it was the tempo we expected to move the ball with because watching film, they did everything they did out there is everything we saw on film and everything we prepared for. And when we executed, we were open. When we didn't, we weren't. So, you know, we, we executed a lot in the first half. I mean, we didn't, again, in the second half, too. But like Coach said, just the breaks, we weren't getting the breaks. And they were, we weren't. But um, that's arena football. If you execute your plays, you're going to score. I mean, it's an offensive game. You all were trading touchdowns back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, I mean, it felt like it was a shootout, right? Oh, yeah, it was going to be a shootout. Uh, they got one of the top offenses in the league. So we knew we had to score every time. And uh, a couple of our turnovers by myself were uh, the cost us the game. Um, I guess the, the first one, I just pulled the string on it, didn't put the loft on the ball. But the play before, you know, it was the same ball that I needed to throw. You know, that, that play on interception, um, you know, the referee called uh, interference on us or whatever it was. And um, like I said, those two picks, is, that, that's the game. Uh, the second pick, I was late on the throw to P.J. And dude picked it off. And uh, you know, even third pick, I wanted to back in the end zone. But we had a, a misran route. Um, somebody should have been going to the front of the end zone rather than to the back. And his man tipped that ball. Um, that ball was going to fall right into P.J.'s hands, actually. So, uh, it, like Coach Stingley said, man, this is the breaks. And, I mean, it even happened to me in this first game, whether it was rust or not. T was, uh, was your rust for two years? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, the first the first few plays, I thought it was going to be, you know, we was going to be dancing right now, having for a win, the way the game started off. But uh, as the game went on, you know, we got to stay in the rhythm. And, uh Kind of a little, got a little windy, a little bit, but I mean, it's gonna come. Um, but it's a little bit too late. I need to be coming in, you know, in tip-top shape right now. But uh, we had our opportunities, and we didn't see the day. PJ, the kickoff return again. Nice, nice one. Um, thank broke, you. Broke through a couple tackles. Talk about that. Um, he was, he's, he's a first of all, he's a great kicker, and I couldn't really get a feel for him because it's weird, like. Well, as you saw, he kicked the scoreboard one time. And I, don't, I don't see how you do that, but I, I really can't get comfortable off the net because some of his balls were so they were so high, but I would think they would come further out to the to the field, but they just dropped straight down. And uh, I, I, I misplayed a couple, so they were hitting the ground. And I knew that is that one. And when it hit the ground, I knew that the guys going to be right on top of me, so the blocks wouldn't be set up. So I just tried to pick a hole, but it seemed. And the first guy, he was. Screaming down inside, so I spun off him, and I think I spun off another. I can't remember, and I just, he was he had my jersey, and I just broke that. And I, I looked up, and it was just open field, just one. Uh, actually, I think Jasper he was blocking a kicker, so he was, you know, just from that point, just run to the end zone.